everyone, welcome back. It is again Tops Now Thursday. This week we are joined by our guy Lane back in action at SDS. Good to see you, Lane. How are you? I'm doing very well. Excited to be back. It's been fun watching Steven and, and Rory come on here and talk about some of this stuff, but I'm excited to be back and, and get into another week of Tops Now. And we got Brandon here, also gassed up, ready to get back into these moments. I know you're chopping at the bit, Brandon. Oh, yeah, per usual. Gas tank's full, especially because Lane's back in the house. So it's going to be a good day. <laughs> Shout out all the fans that are asking for Lane. I know he's in high demand, so the man's back. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lane is back, and June Monthly Awards is chugging along. It is our second week of moments being added to the game. Um and some top style cards to go with it. Lane, you ready to take a dive? Let's do it. Yeah, let's get into these moments and then uh, see what we got with these cards coming out this week. So let's dive in. Week two, tops now week two. So we're halfway there to the end of June. Um, one step closer to that June monthly awards guy and, and retro lightning Chris Sale. But first up with these moments in week two, we've got, of course, how could we not? I think I think this is the highlight of the week. Or the uh, you know the big picture of the week is the cycle, two of them last week. So first up, we got Eduardo Escobar for his cycle down here in San Diego at Petco Park. Exciting to watch that for us for sure. Next up, we got Taylor Walls for his walk off three run homer. Um, I mean, what else is there to say? He hit a walk off three run homer, two outs, big big clutch hit. Off the foul pole, pretty sick. Next up, we have Jose Trevino, who seems like any anytime anyone in his family has a birthday, he hits a walk-off. A couple of weeks ago, he hit one on his dad's birthday, and then on June 10th, it was his son's birthday, and he got a pinch hit in the 13th inning and, and hit another walk-off. So Yankees fans, I mean, Imagine you, keeps you can't rolling. stop him. Yeah, yeah for yeah. real. Uh, next up, we have Dylan Moore who was in an 0-2 count and finished off a Mariners two-out comeback for the walk-off win, which, of course, exciting. Got to get him a card. Next up, just like I said at the beginning, the week of the cycle, Jared Walsh, his first career cycle. This was fun because Shohei Otani, it seemed like he was going to hit for the cycle. He was, like, I think a triple or a double away earlier on in the game, so – seemed like Otani was going to be the cycle. And then here came Walsh, hit for a triple in his last side bat to finish off the cycle. And finally, not tired of all rising, Aaron Judge became the third fastest Yankee hitter behind only Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle to reach 24 home runs in his first 59 games in a season. I mean, this guy's going to hit 70 this year. Might Might break some records or something. We'll see. <laughs> he's on a crazy pace he's on a crazy pace we'll see how it goes but uh yeah it's been it's been it's getting me tired honestly i i don't know who's not tired i'm i'm getting worn down all rise and every time he hits a home run i gotta stand up <laughs> <laughs> uh, but i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited to uh i'm excited to keep doing it and i'm excited to get in here and play this moment so um Lots of exciting things going on. Major League Baseball, second week of June. Um, I agree with you. I think the uh, the, the cycles and uh, getting this Eduardo Escobar one in is going to be exciting. I know the extra base hits. There's something like the home run is – the home run moments are like hit and miss. You know what I mean? You're either on it real quick or maybe you get stuck trying to lift the ball. But the extra base hit ones are tough because you got to do it twice. You can't just do it once. You got to do it twice. You got to show up. Yeah, the, the, um, yeah, doing it twice. That's the hard part for sure. That's Getting it done grind. twice. Get Brandon, it, what about you? What are you looking forward one? to? I'm looking forward to doing all of it. Honestly, I'm kind of stoked on Aaron Judge's moment. I like hitting the bombs. I like hitting the long ball, um, but the long ball, excuse me. But sometimes the grind's hard on those two. No, not going to lie to you guys. You know, so if you get stuck <laughs> on one of those home run moments, you could be looking at – 30 minutes of just pure sweating in the box but yeah always fun when you get that nice clean swing so i'm looking forward to that one you got to be patient you have to be selective and you got a power swing that's the key brandon only power swings 
<laughs> Yo, don't give away all my tips, bro. <laughs> that's that's a fun fact. Only power swinging. <laughs> so let's uh, let's get into these cards a little bit here. So those are the five from last week. We have three in the program this week. We have we have a couple other surprises other than these three, but uh, let's check out these three. Jose Trevino, like I said, walk off on any time it's his family's birthday. Yankees Imagine fans, Rory's hours. happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Rory's stoked. Um, it's a nice little card. You know, probably not breaking through your lineup. Uh, you're starting nine based on the kind of catchers that are out there right now. But who knows? Maybe good for an upcoming event. Definitely good for your Yankee squad. Uh, if maybe you haven't pulled that judge yet and you haven't been able to fill the collection for the Sanchez. Um and uh, well, honestly, listen, I like I like the well. ninety five. I like the ninety five and a hundred contact. I mean, both of his walk off hits were, uh, I think, singles, and mm -hmm. uh, and so listen, it, the shoe fits. <laughs> you can pinch hit this guy against a lefty real quick if if you got runners on. Like that hundred contact sleeper sleeper stat right there. Yeah, for sure. Let's get into the next one, <clears throat> Mister Taylor Walls who's got great defense, good speed, clutch walk-off. I mean, this card's really balanced overall. What do you like here, Chuck? Um, I'm always a fan of the position versatility, but I think having a switch hitter is key. There's not a lot of dominant switch hitters in the game, and so to pop a 90 in there uh, I think will really stick um, as you're using these cards to grind through the monthly awards program. Brandon, how about you? I'm seeing defense and speed and, you know, that shortstop position. You take up a lot of space out there. You're usually in the usually in the W category. Good defense, you know, is the best offense. So, all right. I, I, see, I see you, Taylor Walls. I see you. And then finally we have Mr. Dylan Moore, who look at that position where he can play on defense. I mean, he can literally play any position except for catcher. And he's he's very good on defense. He's got good speed. He's just an athlete, really. That's what it boils down to. What do you like here, Chuck? Five tools, no question, clutch. Uh, and similar to Trevino, has got good contact splits against both sides. So, um, you know, maybe if you get into some extras and you need a, a pitcher and a double switch, you got a guy like Adam Dunn or Stanton in left field. And you got to take him out for a defensive uh, defensive upgrade. Um, this seems like a good card for any lineup. Brandon, how about you? Maybe even a quick swap in on a pinch runner here. I've seen sixty nine steal and some you know some wheels on the guy. This guy's athletic, like Lane just said. So also not it's, a bad look for the lineup. It's not. It's not you know the the ninety nine bunt Kyle Farmer card, but you know oh, Brandon it's, likes it's to no, say it's, <laughs> That, that's for sure. He's no, he's no hero. You know, he's no elite hero in my eyes. But the speed and stealing, you know, I, all right, I can dig it. I can dig it. I, I, I tried to tell, I tried to tell Rory that you guys would be so pumped about the, the ninety nine bunting, and, and he was just like, oh yeah, you know, like didn't really understand like what it, oh, what it truly no. means to you guys. So if anyone was tuned in in the chat, if you remember that call, we were turned. Oh, yeah, God, 99. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It was it was a perfect reaction. I loved it. <laughs> uh, and then, like I mentioned, we have we've got a couple surprises. Um, I don't know if it's a surprise anymore. We've been doing it now. It seems like every drop, but we're putting a card in the June Tops Now collection. If you play through all the moments, get all eight cards. You're gonna collect them in here, and you're gonna get a 93 overall Eduardo Escobar. Another switch hitter, 93 overall, good power. I mean, he plays every position. This is this is a very good card here. What do you like, Chuck? Uh, I mean, stacked top to bottom. Hitting splits are strong. Uh, position versatility is there. And he's there's, almost, there's not a lot to dislike about this card. Um, I'm sure Brandon – I mean, Brandon, listen, the speed isn't what it was on some of the other cards, but I think this guy's going to slot into your lineup nicely. 35 bunt, though, and plays about every position but pitcher. So, 
easy swap in. And, you know, anything on the tops now cards, when you see a player above like 90, 91, you know they're a special, a special breed of tops now cards or moment as well. So definitely a good looking, good looking spot for this. Yeah, I think Chuck mentioned it. What's there not to love about this card? I've played with uh, Cattell Marte, the headliner, a bunch, and this card is really similar. And, and, and Eduardo Escobar's swing is very, very good in the game too. So I think people are really going to like this one. Uh, so Absolutely. I'm excited for it for sure. Great pickup for the Mets. Great pickup for your Diamond Dynasty team. And, uh, you know, you mentioned, Lane, that that this hasn't been a surprise where we've been uh, we've been collecting all the tops now moments as they've come out every week. Uh, but I do think that there is a surprise coming to MLB the show's Diamond Dynasty this week. And uh, and now that we've wrapped up the moments, why don't you give us the breakdown on what that looks like? Yes. So in the Legends and Flashbacks Tops Now series collection, there's we're gonna be adding a player in there. Let's go check out who that player is right now. So in this collection, this holds all of the Tops Now cards that we have put out throughout the whole season and year, um, including you know the, the Battle Royale exclusive players, some of the um, archived players like Shohei Otani that was in the Angel City Connect. Every Tops Now series card is in this program in in this collection and if you collect 45 of them we will give you a 95 overall jared walsh who is the highest overall tops now card we have put out this year for hitting for the cycle this week like we saw the moment and i am extremely excited for this one i love jared walsh's swing i love jared walsh so i am pumped for this one i love it I love I love the passion. I love the <laughs> left-handed pop that's being put into the game. And damn, I love those Angel City Connect unis. I mean, I was a big front runner for uh, the, the White Sox for my front runner. And I think the Angels have have cemented their place at the top. These unis are clean. The piping, the off-white, uh, even the 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 quarter patch on the on the lids, whether it's the helmet or the hats, is awesome. Great that they were able to break these uh, these unis in with a moment like this. And, I mean, this card is coming for your lineup, right? Uh, strong on both sides of the ball. Real pop against right-handed pitchers. And will be there against the best in the game on the left side as well. Brandon, what do you think? I mean, I'll touch on the jerseys real quick. Angels blow the Dodgers ones out of the water. So. <laughs> That's a <laughs> good fact. Work. Good work. Good work over there. Um, you know, like I said before, any any Tops Now moment card, if you're, if you're over 91, it's special. So 95, like, this is going to be a huge help if you've got a certain grind going on where you need Tops Now cards to be swapped in. So definitely, definitely a good one. Got to get on the grind to get her, though. Got to collect all of them. So be on the horse. <laughs> yeah, if you've been playing through, you know, all your top snow moments and been getting that lightning player every month, you should be pretty close to this. So it's it's uh, definitely attainable for a ton of people. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, I'm that's sure, uh, that's yeah. pretty much. Sorry, Chuck, go ahead. No, I, I, I'll, I'll throw it to you. I think that... Uh, like you said, a lot of the things that we've released um, in terms of big uh, player ratings have been things that you've had to earn eventually, whether it's the Lightning player, which is a grind even after the news is announced, or it's that Legend Lightning at the beginning of the month that you have to wait for. Uh, this is going to be accessible for a lot of players now, and I'm sure, I'm sure everyone's already uh, working, uh, figuring out how to get their hands on this card. Yeah, definitely, definitely attainable, and it's also pretty cool to, to to go through this collection and see, you know, all the tops now cards throughout the last last few years. You know, from 2016 with Trout and 2018 with Acuna, and and all the way down to 2020. I think we got them all covered. I think Mauer. So nice next to each other too. When yeah, I agree. I lie. agree. Nice little collection here. Yeah, so collect 45, get Jared Walsh, play through your tops now moments. Get the three new players this week. 
collect those eight players in the June collection for 93 overall Ed- Eduardo Escobar. And that's what we got this week. So halfway to the Lightning player in June, we're getting closer. Things are ramping up. It's listen. Judged. The content <laughs> is the content is strong, Lane. Um, the additions to the game are improving, and uh, the moments are increasingly fun to play. I think it's great how the the league is highlighted, and how different players like in Eduardo Escobar or Dylan Moore are able to sort of get their moment in the sun in the game. Um, makes for an exciting uh, makes for an exciting mode here and uh, an exciting program to play through in June. So that concludes what we've got for this week. Lane, thank you as always for stopping by and giving us the blow by blow on what's good and added to the game. Um, we are going to be hopping on the sticks right now to get these moments done and move towards collecting this Jared Walsh. And, uh, and we'll be back next week to, uh, to keep inching closer towards that lightning player.